Hi, everybody. Welcome to English Digest. I'm Tom. Hi, I'm Stephanie. And we're going to be talking about a festival that goes on during the winter. Right now, it's winter, so it's a good time to be in the United States. That is, if.、Uh, Plane tickets aren't too expensive, <laughs> but we're going to the U.S. state of Colorado, or Colorado, as some people might say. That, of course, is a mountain state, and Denver is the capital, and lots of people go there to have a Rocky Mountain high. Yeah, there's a lot of good snow skiing in that state. It's famous for its、uh, ski resorts. It's beautiful, and you've got the Rocky Mountains there, so it's quite. Quite lovely. It's nicer if you're thinking about going to the U.S. in the summer. Go to a state with mountains. It's a lot cooler.、Uh, stay away from Arizona, my home state, in the summer because it will just boil you alive. It's so hot.、Mm -hmm. So we're going to talk about an ice festival that's in a city that I didn't know of. And it's being called on the internet. I saw someone call it the Switzerland of America.、Uh, Switzerland is gorgeous. It's probably my favorite country,、um, for at least for its、uh, its scenery. It's beautiful. But you have to ask someone from Switzerland how they feel about that. If somebody from Switzerland went to Colorado and you told them, "Hey, Colorado is like、uh, the Switzerland of the United States,"、uh, that Swiss that Swiss guy would probably go, "Cha and dole." It's nothing like it at all.、Yeah. But、uh, still, it's pretty cool, and there might be things to turn you on,、uh -huh. especially since Colorado is known for its outdoor activities,、mm -hmm. skiing and snowshoeing and stuff like that,、mm -hmm. and hiking or. Whatever.、Right. So yes, indeed,、uh, we'll talk about what you can do at this thing called the Ure Ice Festival.、Uh, I had never heard of this myself before. I'm from a prairie state,、uh -huh. but、uh, hey, this sounds kind of interesting if you like ice climbing.、Uh, let's find out what this is all about. Let's read the entire contents of our lesson now one time. The U.S. state of Colorado is renowned as a destination for outdoor activities. The impressive Rocky Mountains, which cut through the state, are the focus of these pastimes, which include hiking and climbing. In Ure, a town in southwestern Colorado, ice climbing is at the center of winter festivities. Every January since 1996, the town has held the Ure Ice Festival. Its goal is to expose more people to the thrill of ice climbing. The site of this exciting event is the Ure Ice Park. The park, which fills a river gorge, features over a hundred different routes where expert ice climbers train. On the ice walls are sprinklers and pipes that are overseen by the park's ice farmers. Over the course of the winter, these workers carefully cover the steep walls of the gorge with ice. They create exciting challenges that mirror natural ice formations like frozen waterfalls. They're also responsible for cleaning up hazards like icicles. Professionals might come to the park to test their expertise, but Ure Ice Park has been likened to a ski resort. That means that plenty of people just come to play. During the four days that the festival occupies in January, anyone can give ice climbing a try. There are classes to acquaint beginners of all ages, including young children, with the sport. The fun isn't confined to the ice either. Visitors can also attend movie screenings and costume parties. The atmosphere at the ice festival is warm and fun-filled, despite the wintry weather. Okay, guys, let's look at the title, which is kind of cute. Our author cho、uh, chose a couple of words that、uh, sound very similar. Hooray! Uray, so they kind of rhyme. Hooray for Uray and the ice festival there. We're going to be talking about this ice festival. It's a little old town, but if you like ice, especially ice climbing, this is、uh, probably a place you need to put on your list of things to do or list of places to see before you go. 
Yeah. Yeah. If you've never been to Colorado before, of course you probably might want to go skiing at various resorts there.、Mm. I think Telluride is very close to Ure, but there are other places like Vail and Steamboat、mm -hmm. and Aspen and places like that. Aspen's nice. But、uh, if you're bored of skiing and you want something different, then you can try ice climbing at Ure, and they also have this Ure Ice Festival. So there are lots of activities going on. You'll have yourself one heck of a time. Now the U.S. state of Colorado is renowned as a destination for outdoor activities. To be renowned as something or to be renowned for something、yeah. just means you're famous for a particular reason. Lots of people go there、uh, to go skiing, to go hiking, to go rock climbing, etc., etc. There are all sorts of opportunities for outdoor activities there, just like there are in New Zealand. Right. So we've got the impressive Rocky Mountains. It's a mountain range that extends past one state. We've got some of the Rockies in Arizona,、uh, in Colorado.、Uh, I think Utah has a little bit of the Rocky Mountains. It's a very long, beautiful range of mountains that are quite high, and they cut through the state. Meaning they go through the state, and they're focus of these pastimes that people really enjoy. Remember, we're talking about outdoor activities, outdoor sports、uh, that would include hiking, climbing, ice climbing, which sounds scary to me.、Uh, there's of course skiing. There's lots of things to do, though. In fact, if you go to their website, the town's website, they say they have 60 different outdoor activities you can go and participate in. My goodness!、Yeah. And in Yore, a town in southwestern Colorado,、mm -hmm. ice climbing is at the center of winter festivities. So this is in southwestern Colorado.、Uh, I think、uh, Mesa Verde National Park is there, where there there's a cliff, cliff dwellings of、oh, an ancient、cool yeah. uh, Indian civilization、yeah. there. So you should check that out if you're there, if you've got time. For that, but in any case, here, yes, ice climbing is at the center of winter activities or festivities. Festivities, of course, are happy things that are going on. They're exciting. People are、like、party.、Uh, indeed, they're having a good time. <laughs> and yes, indeed, lots of people go there for the ice climbing,、uh, which I've never really heard about before. But、uh, if you have a lot of ice、uh, and you want to climb up it with、uh, special equipment, then we call that ice climbing. It can be an interesting challenge, probably. Similar to rock climbing, it is, except it's really cold,、mm. and、uh, it's as dangerous as rock climbing is. I've seen rock climbing on TV, and of course in movies with Tom Cruise, he does some rock climbing in that second Mission Impossible. Oh, so scary!、Don't、remember that. Yeah, so、uh, the ice climbing though, you have a pick, you know, a very sharp kind of axe that you use, and your your shoes have to have special cleats on them to kind of dig into the ice.、Um, it looks way too dangerous for me, but、uh, if you're into extreme sports, you might get into ice climbing. So we told you where it's located and some of the activities that are there. Well, every January since 1996. The town has held what they're calling the Ure Ice Festival. So they've got an official ice festival to entice、uh, visitors to come and you know enjoy what they have to offer. What's its goal? Its goal or purpose is to expose more people to the thrill of ice climbing. If you expose someone to something, you let them see what something's like. You can also be exposed to bad things like. Bugs and germs, and get sick, or maybe you don't want to expose your kids to violent movies, so you don't let them go see particular films.、Uh, so if you're exposed again, you're just allowed to see something or do something that typically maybe you wouldn't run into. Right, the thrill or the excitement of ice climbing. I'm sure the people in Ure also would welcome tourist dollars as well.、Mm. Now, moving on to the next paragraph here, it says the site of this exciting event is the Ure Ice Park. So they have a special place、uh, that、uh, features ice climbing. It's its own little park. Little park here. Yeah. The park, which fills a river gorge, features over a hundred different routes where expert ice climbers train. 
Now, a river gorge, of course, is a canyon、mm -hmm. or a gorge that has a river flowing through it.、Uh, Tailuga Taroko is a river gorge here、mm -hmm. in Taiwan because there's a river flowing through the gorge. So is the Grand Canyon,、mm -hmm. uh, which is in my state of Arizona. So they've got the gorge, and it features over a hundred different routes where expert ice climbers train. We use route or route. It's sometimes pronounced route if you're in the states. So be aware of that. I grew up saying I have a paper route. I would deliver newspapers at 4:30 in the morning when I was young. Taught me how to work.、Um, but here, since I've been in Taiwan, everyone、uh, kind of says route. So I've changed my pronunciation to help my Taiwanese friends. A route is just the course or、uh, the course you take, or a way of getting from one starting point to your destination, whatever that is. So it's different ways to go somewhere, different paths. We've got different routes, over a hundred different routes or routes, where expert ice climbers train. This is where they get to practice. You get the experts going there. They train there, and maybe later on they'll take those skills to climb、uh, taller mountains in the Himalayas or something like that. And on the ice walls are sprinklers and pipes that are overseen by the park's ice farmers. So I guess some of this ice is artificial. It's made with water sprayed on the rocks there, or sp、yeah. sprayed on the cliffs, because you got sprinklers.、Mm -hmm. A sprinkler is a device that distributes water over. A specific area, you'll see sprinklers in parks, for example, when they try to make the grass grow. A、uh, water will be spraying up、uh, from the ground、mm -hmm. and coming back down、uh, to the ground. And also, we've got pipes there where water can be pumped. And then, of course, they've got to have people there oversee the process. To oversee just means you kind of supervise it, and the ice farmers there make sure that the ice forms properly for all those ice climbers. And、uh, that brings us to the midway point in our lesson for today. Let's、uh, take a time out and listen to our Chinese teacher. Hello, everyone. 我是派老师。今天讲解的是 Hooray! It's the Uray Ice Festival 的课程。这个单元是综合测验刻漏字的练习题，内容跟攀冰 （ice climbing） 有关。攀岩大家可能听过，甚至玩过。攀冰应该就很少人体验过了吧？这个活动地点在美国的 State of Colorado， 科罗拉多州。好，我们现在一起来解题。我们先解第一题，看到前一句 The impressive Rocky Mountains 这边。好，这里的意思是说，壮丽的落基山脉贯穿科罗拉多州，是户外活动、休闲、消遣的重症，可以在这里爬山、攀岩。接着就是题干本身了 ，In Uray。A town in southwestern Colorado. 好，这里呢是我们的题干。那题干是什么意思呢？他说，在科罗拉多州西南部有个小镇 Uray。那 ice climbing 是冬季欢乐庆典的空格。我们应该选什么呢？我们直接看四个选项，分别是什么意思 ？A at the center of 焦点核心。B in need of 需要。那老师给大家举个例子哦，怎么用这个片语 ？When you are in need of help, don't be afraid to ask. 需要帮忙就不要害怕开口。好，再来 C at the expense of 是以什么为代价？比方说 ，Many people achieve success at the expense of their health. 许多人为了成功牺牲自己的健康。好，第一题选 A， 表示在 Uray 小镇上。攀冰 （ice climbing） 是冬季节庆的焦点。再来第二题，第二题题干这里说到，从一九九六年开始，这个镇每年一月份都会举办这个 Uray Ice Festival。它的目标是空格，更多人攀冰的刺激。我们看四个选项 ：A. Expose 是使接触到 ；B. Modify 修改 ；C. Transfer。或 transfer 动词念 transfer 是转移的意思。D condemn 谴责。第二题选 A expose somebody to something 表示让某人接触到某物。比方说 ，When you take off your face mask, you are more likely to expose yourself to viruses floating in the air. 
脱下口罩就比较可能接触到空中漂浮的病毒。本题的意思则是，这个庆典的目标是让更多人接触到攀冰的刺激。好，再接下来我们请看到第三题。第三题考文法，请看题干本身，主词是 the park。斗顶后面是非限定修饰的关系子句，补充说明公园的地形位置。斗顶后的 features 是句子的主要动词，表示以什么为卖点、为亮点。Over a hundred different routes 就是受词。照理说，句子到这里结构就完整，语义也表达清楚了。但后面还有 expert ice climbers train， 又多了一个子句，所以请思考。这两个子句的关联是什么？可以看到 ，expert ice climbers train 是在说明修饰 routes， 也就是说，这上百条路径聚集了各路好手在此训练。我们需要有一个关系副词，它的先行词是个地点，因此第三题选 B where。We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Whether it's in the spring, summer, fall, or winter, of course, for an ice festival, and that's what we're focusing on, you'll want to go in the winter. So they have this ice festival in January, and they want to expose people to the thrill or excitement of ice climbing. The area where it's held is called the Ure Ice Park. And the park is um, uh, actually it fills a river gorge, and it features over a hundred different routes or paths or trails where expert ice climbers train. That's where they get a lot of practice in. They also、uh, they have natural ice, of course, natural snow, but they also have. Ice farmers, as Tom said before the break, they actually、uh, produce this ice by using sprinklers and pipes that、uh, are supervised or over overseen by what we're calling the parks. Ice farmers. I thought that was really cute. This title they've given these people. They're not farming corn or wheat or watermelon.、Uh, they're actually farming ice. Interesting, and over the course of the winter, or during the winter as it goes on,、uh, these workers carefully cover the steep walls of the gorge、hmm. with ice.、Uh, this sometimes happens at ski resorts. If、uh, there's a winter that doesn't have a lot of snow, sometimes they make artificial snow.、Mm -hmm. uh, they have these special machines that make snow and cover the ground with that snow. And that's probably a similar process here. They've got those sprinklers and those pipes, and the ice farmers、uh, put. Ice on the walls of the gorge, and that happens all winter long. Now they create exciting challenges that mirror natural ice formations, like frozen waterfalls. You may have heard of this. Some people climb Niagara Falls during the winter because the falls have actually frozen, and it becomes a challenge for people to climb up those waterfalls when they're frozen.、Uh, this can happen with other waterfalls around the world as well. Not. Uh, for here in Taiwan, it just doesn't get <laughs> cold enough for the waterfalls <laughs> to freeze here. But、uh, in northern parts of the world,、uh, you've got these natural ice formations. A formation is just something that forms.、Mm -hmm. In this case, it's natural.、Uh, so, of course, you've got natural rock formations,、uh, like、uh, some of the mountains here in Taiwan are natural rock formations.、Uh, some mountains have、uh, special、yeah. shapes and things like that, or the arches in Utah. Those are natural formations. Formations, etc., etc., and these are natural ice formations, such as frozen waterfalls, or however else ice can freeze, maybe on the polar caps or whatever. 
Yeah, so we also use formation to talk about、uh, maybe a parade that your city might be having.、Uh, you'll see bands that will move around in different shapes. Those are the band formations that they practice. So it can be an arrangement of people or things, some sort of structure you're talking about. Of course, the military uses formations as well. A military formation is how they line up and they march. And they all have to be very precise. Those are formations. Here we're talking about something that's natural, though,、um, or created、uh, w- when you're out in nature. And these are natural ice formations, like these frozen waterfalls. There is no way I would try to climb a frozen waterfall. But everybody out there is different. I know.、Uh, they're also responsible. We're talking about the ice farmers. They're responsible for cleaning up hazards like icicles. Yeah, if icic、uh, if icicles break off, they're very very sharp on both ends, and they can actually kill someone. So they're responsible for taking care of those icicles, so none of the visitors are harmed or get hurt. Yeah, icicles are a common formation in the winter. Of course,、uh, snow kind of melts sometimes, then it refreezes、mm-hmm. and forms these kind of sticks that are hanging down. And of course, if you're trying to climb rock faces or at least ice cliffs,、uh, yeah, icicles might fall and stab you,、Ooh. or they might be really sharp there. So of course, they have to clean up those hazards so people are nice and safe. Now, here in the next paragraph, it says professionals might come to the park to test their expertise. But Ure Ice Park has been likened to a ski resort. So of course,、uh, sometimes you get professionals, people who have been doing this for a long time, and actually get paid to do this.、Uh, they come there to test their expertise, sort of to keep in shape and to see how well they can do this.、Uh, if you talk about someone's expertise, that just refers to the skills that they have, the skills that make them an expert. So yeah, they test their expertise to make sure they're doing. This as well as they can, but still, it's kind of considered a ski resort. It's been likened to a ski resort. It's not just a place for experts. Anybody can go. Families are invited. Everybody can have a good time. It sounds fun. So that means that plenty of people just go to play or come to play.、Uh, sounds fun.、Uh, kids love snow, especially the young ones who haven't been exposed to it. I didn't grow up in a state. Or at least a city that had snow, and my parents were always taking us up north into the mountains in Arizona, where there was lots of snow, just so we could play and experience that. All kids love snow, I think. During the four days that the festival occupies in January, anyone can give ice climbing a try. To occupy here just means to take up a certain amount of space or time. I could say I occupy my evenings with、uh, books and music once I get home to relax. So that's what I what I spend time doing. So you can be occupied、uh, with something. Just means you're busy with something else.、Uh, you know, I was occupied last night when you called. I didn't hear your phone.、Uh, so yeah, it's just a way to take up or fill up space or time to occupy. Uh, people can be in a certain place too, like、uh, the sunflower movement. I believe a couple of years ago, occupied the legislature. They kind of went in there and they just hung out there、uh, in protest or something like、uh-huh. that. And in this particular case, though, it's just talking about four days during January, and anyone can give ice climbing a try. So this is a verb phrase. You can separate it. Uh, to give something a try, it's usually separated、mm-hmm. only to give something a try. Have you ever tried skydiving? Well, I haven't. I'd like to give it a try. I'd like to try it and、uh, to see what it's like. Now, I wanted to mention too, if you didn't want to use occupy there, you could say run. So the during the four days that the festival runs in January or takes place in January, those are great substitutes as well. But it's good to learn another verb for take up or fill up space or time. So they've got these classes to acquaint beginners of all ages, including young children, with the sport. Ah,、uh, yeah. 
You'll probably get more little boys who want to do this than some of the girls, I think. If you acquaint yourself with something, you just、uh, familiarize yourself with something that you're not familiar with already. So sometimes we talk about having an acquaintance. That just means someone we've met, but we we don't know them that well. You know, maybe you met them once or twice. Oh yeah, that's、uh, that's an acquaintance of mine. It doesn't mean you're best friends, though. It doesn't mean you. Dislike them, it just means you don't know them very well. So to acquaint someone with something just makes somebody aware or familiar with something. So maybe you're hiring a new employee, and you ask someone to take them around the office to help them、uh, to help them acquaint themselves with all the, all the employees that already that are already working there, the departments that your company has. It's good to get acquainted with new things and new people. Right, so they have classes to acquaint beginners with the sport,、uh-huh. and the fun isn't confined to the ice either.、Mm. Uh, they don't just、uh, have activities related to the ice climbing. Visitors can also attend movie screenings and costume parties. Fun. So yeah, you can see movies there, and dress up in a costume and go to a party. The atmosphere at the ice festival is warm and fun-filled,、mm. despite the wintry weather. Wintry, of course, just refers to winter. Wintry weather, of course, is weather like the winter. It's cold,、mm. it's windy, and there's lots of snow. So you better bundle up. Okay,、right. that brings us to the end of our discussion for today. It's time now to listen to our Chinese teacher. We continue to look at the second part. 在整个冬天期间，这些工人小心地将冰覆盖在峡谷的峭壁上，他们创造出刺激的挑战——空格、冰瀑等自然的冰层结构。好，我们看一下第四题的各个选项分别什么意思 ：A. Cure 治愈 ；B. Pain 让什么人痛苦 ；C. Mirror 是与什么相似 ；D. Judge 是判断。依照语义，第四题选 C。表示公园处的工人创造出刺激的挑战，与冰瀑等自然冰层结构相似。最后第五题，前面提到这公园里有入门课程，可以训练各个年龄层的民众攀冰。题干 ：The fun isn't 空格 the ice either， 而且在这个园区里，乐趣也不是空格冰。后一句提到来访民众也可以看电影、参加化妆舞会。由此可知，第五题这个句子是要告诉我们，在这个活动期间到 U A 不止有冰上活动可玩。第五题选 C， 表示乐趣不限于冰上。其他选项分别 ：A distracted from 是无法专注于 ；B striven for 是努力争取。A D the generated from 是从什么什么什么产生。好，以上就是我们针对综合测验，也就是刻漏字的题型所做的讲解。谢谢大家。That's it, guys. Thanks for joining us. We hope、uh, some of you out there that are into ice climbing and rock climbing get a chance one day to go to Ure Ice Festival and see how well you do on their particular routes.、Uh, for English Digest, I'm Stephanie, and I'm Tom. Goodbye. Bye.